If you're wanting to go pro as an average Joe, then you've come to the right place. A new chapter means new weapons, items, mechanics, and a brand new map. With the right plan, you can say goodbye to being average and hello to the top of the leaderboards. Today we're going to be showing you everything you need to know in order to finally reach that pro level in chapter 4. Let's get right into it. Before we can go over the different ways to speed up improvement and make it as a pro, we need to make sure everyone's on the same page when it comes to the meta. Other than the loophole changes, there hasn't been anything added to this chapter that changes the core fighting mechanics. Players are still engaging in fights the same way they have been, it's really just a change in what weapons they're using. Since the SMGs are honestly pretty balanced this season, we wouldn't recommend using one each game unless your tracking aim is on point. These SMGs will definitely shred through opponents with some solid aim, but it won't work so well if your shots are all over the place. That's why we're suggesting to run a shotgun AR loadout for Chapter 4. Unless you're a player who insists on running the red eye, in which case you'd need an SMG, you're simply taking away a slot for the shockwave hammer or extra heal. The Scar and the Thunder Shoddy combo is the way to go this season. The Scar deals tons of damage from all distances and can sometimes even be better than the SMG at close range. Combining that with the heavy hitting Thunder makes for a deadly combo. If you're unable to find a Thunder, then there's no need to worry. The newly added Heavy Shotgun can always be your backup. This thing isn't as powerful in comparison to the Thunder when it comes to headshot damage, but the body damage it deals is unreal. You can hit consistent 100 plus damage shots from pretty far away, and the bullet spread while ADSing is insanely small. Now, since you're saving an extra slot by ditching the SMG, you can hold onto the Shockwave Hammer without sacrificing heals. Even with the Shockwave Hammer being nerfed into the ground, the means of transportation it offers makes holding it a no-brainer. A series of four consecutive hits can send you super far, and it has a reasonable recharge time for you to do it all over again. This is game-changing in competitive play, and makes Arena a whole lot more fun when you can be everywhere all at once. For your heals, holding 6 minis and 6 chug splashes is the way to go. These are the best items when it comes to time to reward ratio and can be used pretty easily in intense fights. If you're able to grab one but not the other, do your best to find floppers or slurpfish. These are the next best thing and have been pretty slept on as of recently. If you've been keeping up with the channel for a while now, you've definitely heard us talk about how important a healthy mindset is when it comes to finding success in Fortnite. And with the brand new chapter finally being here, there's no better time than now to flip the switch. You can start by recognizing the flaws in your mindset and admit that something needs to change. Far too often, we see aspiring pros, especially the younger ones, resort to cockiness instead of actually evaluating their mental state. While some cockiness can definitely be good, too much can have the opposite effect. Take Clicks, for example. He rose to fame at 14 years old and held quite the ego for some time. While he was definitely successful, he got comfortable with where he was and started to slowly distance himself from any significant placements. He finally took a step to realize what was going on and made a change. He teamed up with Day and debuted as an IGL. With this role switch and his desire to succeed, he did just that. Clicks and Day put on quite a show together. They finished third in the FNCS Grand Finals and racked up tens of thousands of dollars through other tournaments as well. On top of admitting your mental mistakes, you need to be admitting your mistakes in your gameplay as well. Whenever you die in Fortnite, 9 times out of 10, it's on you not the game. The number one way to improve in this game is by learning from your mistakes. With that being said, you're only hurting yourself in the long run by brushing off your mistakes instead of using them to improve. Obviously, you're still gonna have those unavoidable deaths that make you want to send your monitor through the window. And that's okay. But what's not okay is actually acting on it. Aside from all the money you're gonna be spending on new peripherals, raging at every little thing is only gonna stress you out more. The temporary relief you feel after acting out really isn't worth it. I promise. Another trait you'll need in order to make it as a pro is the ability to adapt. There's a good chance that the game will change drastically. If you want to become a pro, you need to be prepared for anything. If Epic comes out and says that the new competitive loop pool is only SMGs, you better get to your tracking drills. Clearly, this would never actually happen. Well, it is Epic Games after all. But you get the point. The point we're trying to make here is that you better be ready to put your head down each and every time an update drops. The sooner you can learn the ins and outs and master the new meta, the better. If you can start off just a smidge ahead of everybody else, you're already putting yourself in a position to start placing in the first few upcoming tournaments. If you're serious about improving, head over to ProGuides.com where you can access all of our courses and bootcamp content for just $7.99. And if personalized coaching is more 
or your speed, you'll get 10% off any session with any of our pros. Since the beginning of new chapters is usually the time for Epic to constantly make loophole changes, you need to have your aim prepared for whatever weapon Epic adds. You can do this by setting aside time in your routine to train your aim. Creative aim trainers, 1v1 aim duels, third-party programs, you name it. Anything that will improve your aim and get it to where it needs to be is what you need to be doing. If you're a returning viewer, you'll know how much we've been recommending aim duels. The map that we prefer was made by Raider464, and it's honestly amazing in every way. This map offers a variety of scenarios where you and your partner will trade shots with each other until only one remains. Your crouching, strafing, shot timing, and overall gun skill will be improved drastically after spending a solid amount of time in here. Your goal here is simply to improve your raw movement and aiming mechanics. For aim trainers outside of the actual game, we recommend using Aim Lab. Aim Lab offers fully customizable aim training scenarios as well as a detailed analysis of your skills. With world renowned aimers like Tens using it to improve, you know it must be good. So get to practicing. Even if you consider yourself a strong fighter, there's no way you can prove it without fighting the top pros. Any minor flaw in your playstyle will be pointed out rather quickly. Trust me. The pros these days are at such a high level that something as small as making a double edit instead of a triple edit could cost you your life. Now, you're probably thinking, how can I even get the chance to fight a pro? Well, there's a few ways, but the easiest would be to play a token against them. Tokens are basically just wagers under disguise. Since Epic decided to make wagering bannable to stream, the community pretty much agreed to continue on under a different name. There's always a handful of pros hosting tokens on stream every day, mainly in Zone Wars. Now, we're definitely not encouraging you guys to put all your money on the line for some practice, but playing a few tokens here and there can really level you up as a player. I mean, you're literally playing against the best of the best. There's so much you can learn from just a few rounds with a pro, you'd be surprised. If tokens don't sound like something you'd be interested in, you can always run into pros in arena. Especially during the early mornings and late nights, solo arena lobbies are filled with a solid amount of players and sometimes even tier one. Obviously, you're not gonna be able to rely on this for consistent practice, but it does make for an interesting fight when you encounter a cracked fighter in an arena game every now and then. All right, Fortnite fam, it's time for the question of the day. Which shotgun do you prefer in chapter four? The heavy shotgun? or the thunder shoddy? Let us know what you think down in the comments below. I'm sure by now that you can understand why the beginning of a new chapter is a great time to improve your fighting skills. With so many rapid updates coming our way, the quicker you can adapt to new fighting metas, the better. To make some noticeable improvements, you're gonna need to start playing against players that are more advanced than you and start following a solid training routine. Definitely take a look at our chapter four warmup and training guide to see what you should be doing if you haven't already. Regardless of the map and the loophole changes, your raw fighting skills will transfer over completely. However, we can assume that there will be some form of change in mechanics. With the release of Chapter 2, we received Confirm Edit on release, along with sliding and mantling in early Chapter 3. Now, as for Chapter 4, we haven't seen any major mechanical changes other than leaping over items when you tactical sprint towards them. Since this change isn't too significant, tons of people think we'll receive a new mechanic in these next few months. Now, for what this mechanic may be is unclear, but we do have a guess. About a year ago, Notorious Leaker Hypex found a throwable axe item in the game files. He wasn't able to gather any further information on it, but he did manage to grab this screenshot. While this was over a year ago, we still haven't seen Epic make any hints at its release. All we can do is hope and wait. I think it's safe to say that a throwable weapon in Fortnite would be a blast, and the highlight reel potential would be endless. Well, that wraps things up for today, Fortnite fam. Did you enjoy the video? Be sure to leave a like and ring that bell to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest tips and tricks we have to offer. Also, feel free to leave a comment and let us know if there's anything you would be interested in learning more about. Remember, the pro scene is constantly changing. With so many new additions headed our way this chapter, there's no better time than now to get yourself prepared to dominate your competition. Once again, my name is Galvanize and I'll see you in our next video here at Pro Guides.